as more and more of us are getting our hands in the dirt, I'm here on the UK's largest garden trade shows and I'm going to be finding out more about sustainable gardening. My name is Will Scott. I'm the team leader at Heart of Eden for AHS Limited. Heart of Eden is originally based where our centre of operations is, that is in the Eden Valley in Cumbria, near Penrith. Heart of Eden is the retail range that A.W. Jenkinson's group and AHS designed and created a few years ago to fill a hole in the market, which we did at the request of a particular garden centre group. And it's turned out to be very successful. So it is now a full retail range of bagged products, growth media, bark, and soil improvers. What makes Heart of Eden different is that we've never used peat in any of our products uh, and we never will and we designed specifically a peat-free compost for the modern market which is sustainable and deliverable on large scale and this was important because there was a hole in the market someone had failed to do this particularly during the Covid period and so we stepped up and obviously we've been successful in doing that. The peat-free media are very important because peat itself is a vital natural resource. It's a carbon sink, it's a habitat for creatures. It locks up and absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, combating climate change, global warming effects. It also regenerates incredibly slowly, one millimeter a year. So if you hack out a meter length of peat, it's gonna take a thousand years to regenerate. And we are much better leaving the peat in the ground where it belongs. Gardeners will be used to using peat and they will have been over a long period. Peat free is different only in the sense that it's a better alternative. It has very similar water retention qualities as does peat. It also has a really good cation exchange profile for the scientists amongst you. It's a really versatile product. It does require a different amount of watering, quite a lot less, and that's going to be a benefit because when we get hotter summers and drier summers, we need a growth medium which will enable the plants to still survive and thrive. The Heart of Eden range, of course, comprises first and foremost our peat-free all-purpose compost. We also have our decorative bark range. We do a fine composted bark, a hardwood chip, a very good-looking pine bark nuggets. Then we have our enriched topsoil, we have a soil improver, and we have a farmyard manure. Because we work as part of AHS, which is itself the sales arm of AW Jenkinson's, we can not only provide material in bagged quantity, so we can do obviously single bags for the customer over the counter, we deliver by the pallet or even up to the Arctic load, and we can also deliver this loose if necessary. Um, we have several nurseries and other businesses which currently use one or more of our materials in large scale. As a budding gardener myself, I've used the soil improver to do some no dig material areas in my allotment, but more importantly, I've used the peat free compost as a general potting medium and for hanging baskets and raised beds. It's very versatile. You do need to adjust the way you water it. You don't need to water it anywhere near as much as you would a standard soil or compost. It, and again, as I've said, it's very forgiving. It absorbs water really well and it retains it. So when you think it's dry, almost certainly, it's still delivering vital moisture to your plant roots. If you're getting into gardening, almost certainly, Heart of Eden is going to be one of the best choices you can make. It is an outstanding product, if I say so myself, for the price point, you won't find anything better in the market. This is the one to choose. If you're a gardener starting out, you don't want to make any mistakes. It's a very forgiving medium as well, and it won't break your budget.